Hey everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 50. In this tutorial we are going to implement loading embedded compressed uh, textures from a 3D file. So let's go to our texture header. We're going to add a new constructor for uh, just passing in a pointer to the data, the size of that all that data, and we're just going to generate a texture using the DirectX TK create texture from memory. So what we're going to do here is pretty simple. We're just setting the type. We are calling create WIC texture from memory, um, passing in the pointer to the data, the size, uh, the get address up on the texture to populate it, and the get address up on the texture view to populate it. And then we are throwing a com error if we fail. Now, one thing to note, I forgot to mention this in the last tutorial when we were calling uh, create texture from file is there's an, uh, an optional parm where we could pass in uh, the device, I could put null pointer here, but there's a, another version of this function that takes in the device context. And if you pass in the device context, you can generate mit maps for the texture. However, one downside of this is uh, the device context is not thread safe. So if we wanted to have multiple threads, uh, you know, loading in, creating buffers for textures and loading in textures, uh, it would not be possible using the device context unless, you know, we were only having one thread use that device context at a time. So instead, we are just not passing in the device context and we are not currently generating MIP maps, but we might come back to that later. So next, let's go back to our um, model CPP and we're just going to add in a case for when we have embedded compressed textures. What we are going to do is we are going to say, all right, if it's embedded compressed, let's get the texture by calling get embedded texture and passing in the texture path. And then we are going to create a new texture object. For the pointer to the data, we can get this by uh, referencing the PC data field in the pointer to the texture. For an embedded compressed texture, the width member is not actually uh, the width of the texture. It's actually the total number of bytes that the texture occupies. So that is why we are passing in the width for the size of the data. And then once we create this texture, we are just pushing it back into our material textures vector. So now we are going to test this with the orange embedded texture FBX. All right, and you see it loads in, it's no longer red. We actually see the texture. So we are almost done setting up loading our textures. There's only one other case currently um, that I have set up for us to implement. And that is going to be the embedded indexed textures. So you'll see we have this em uh, person embedded index.blend file. And if we run this, you see we get this big uh, red texture. And that's because we haven't implemented uh, the embedded index yet. So we're going to do that in the next tutorial. But we are done for this tutorial, and thanks for watching.